the reason why Young Thug is out is literally because of Brian Steele and his strategy. Like people, yes. like you know, you've heard like, oh, he said like not to take this plea deal. Like I got this, and it worked. Like he's trial, the go. Trial was a mess. I think <laughs> yeah. they changed the judge about three times to Crazy. finally agreeing on one. Mm -hmm. Not only that, uh, the lead uh, snitch, which is YSL uh, mm -hmm. Wood, uh, Woody, uh, Woody, you guys might know him as. He was giving the prosecution a runaround. So a lot of people that support Thug, uh, people like myself, I'm watching this trial and I'm like, man, this don't look like it's finna go that far. You mm. know, um, mm -hmm. you need this. And, and this is what was different too. This was a state RICO, not a federal RICO. So in my head, I was like, how does this differ from a natural federal RICO? And I guess once you're in state, you could pull strings a bit better. Um, yeah, I'm just happy Thug is home. And for you, those of you out here that are saying like I'm a, um, what's the word? Because allegedly what he committed, like the crimes he committed, you know, probably are not like the best things, right? But again, we're all contradicting ourselves every day. I think we're fans of people and don't understand why. Um, at the end of the day, that shit was a mess and you got to beat me in court. The mafia used to say that a lot, right? Mm -hmm. Like you do your job, and I'm going to do my job, right? So, yeah, that is, uh, I'm excited. I can't believe he's actually free, though. But <laughs> let's talk about man. the condi conditions of his release. God talk he's about on it. probation for almost two decades. And there are a lot of conditions that come with it. Which is really tough. So, Which is really, you know, really, really tough. Being on probation, having, being in the position that Thug is in because. He's a rapper, like. he And not only is he a, rap, a rapper, but he is one of the top rappers in the game, which means he has unlimited access, which means there's a lot of people who's not going to say no to you, which means there's going to take a lot of discipline for you to make sure that you abide by whatever the, the rules are that your probation um, is adhering to. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, but ultimately, he is free. And mm -hmm. so that is the goal when you're in these situations. Um, as somebody who has have loved ones do bids and, mm -hmm. you know, you just kind of been there, you just want them to be out. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like, so yeah. his children, his parents, his ones, yep. um, we've heard from his parents. We heard from his children. We've seen his children. We've seen his partners, his, his uh, girlfriend, all of those things. As somebody who's on the outside, like, they always say when somebody you love goes behind the wall, you do the bid with them. This is one of the things, one of the scenarios True. where, thankfully, he's out. And so, so long as he's able to abide by some of these tricky rules. Because one thing about parole, probation, all of these things, hmm. it is designed for you to go back. Absolutely. They do want to be proven right at the end of the day. I think he's banned from, I'm pretty sure he's banned from, like, the Atlanta metro area. For 10 years. Like, yeah. He's like, banned for 10 years. He and has he a can lot only, of tough conditions, yeah. He can only come back for... Weddings, funerals, and family emergencies. And graduations, I think. Yeah, graduations yeah. and family emergencies. Yeah. And, oh my gosh, I thought this was just adorable. Maybe I'm just being too naive and uh, positive. But I feel like the fact that he specifically requested to be able to c collaborate with Sergio Kitchens, a.k.a. Gunna, and his brother, I thought that was cute. Mm, no? Did, did you? Well, I thought that was because he wanted to collaborate with him. Or am I being naive? <sighs> A bit my naive, my good sister. Why? Well, I want to say this, right? <laughs> mm. We don't fully know what's actually going on. Mm -hmm. But we can speculate with what's out right now. And I'll just tell you some few things I noticed. Because you are so right. That was one of the things he pleaded to the judge about. Like, hey, I want to be able to make music with Gunna, so I want to be able to speak with him without any interruptions. That absolutely happened for a fact. Now, uh -oh. the next day. <laughs> oh, what he tweeted? Goes to Twitter. Yeah, say it like Thug would. I'm going to say it like Thug. Because I know you, you can say it better than you, all of us. Yeah, yeah, let me hear All it. right. Real plea deal, Jack. So that. I'm going to say it in my regular you voice. Yo, you lived in Atlanta. <laughs> I did live in Atlanta. You lived in Atlanta. Twin, what so up, you twin? know what it is, What's going on, Twin? Ah, shit, man. <laughs> so I'm going to say it in my normal voice, right? Uh -huh. Real plea deal, Jack. Now, let's really analyze these four words and exclamation mark. <laughs> Real. That tells Alex, me, myself, I don't want to, I don't want to think for y'all. I love that you're actually analyzing every single word. I'm a, we going to do it. Real. I was about to say real. Real. It's only one way to say you real. Man. Absolutely. So he says, real. If you guys remember, a lot of people were calling Gunna a snitch because 
He cooperated. We saw allegedly. Of, allegedly, co- no, he cooperated. That ain't no allegedly. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He took yeah. the what was it, Alpha plea? Yeah, he took the Alpha plea. You remember when I mentioned it up here? Yeah, he took the Alpha plea. He cooperated. We saw the video of him saying yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, and the things he was agreeing to was. Oh, uh, yeah. Him and Thugger were in a car, and they were asking him if the things belonged to him, and he said, no, ma'am, and he identified him to be Jeffrey, who was Thug. So most people looked at that as, damn, yo, that motherfucker snitching. He's switching on Thug. Mm. Everybody else was more on some, like, let's wait and see what Thug has to say. So as you guys both know, Gunner's been home since then. He's put out music. He's put out two albums. He's toured. But we've still been trying to speculate, like, what is the relationship between... Gunner and Thug. Where do they stand? Where do they stand? We see an affiliate of that camp, Lil Baby. He throws subliminal messages about rats and songs while mm-hmm. Thugger is uh, still locked. And he's had zero communication with Gunner since he's been back. Mm-hmm. So it makes you wonder. So again, I go back to the tweet, real. I think what Thug is trying to imply here is that he went through the process correctly. He took it to trial, just like his song. Mm-hmm. and took a plea deal after the trial. So if I'm reading this to be correct, I think he's trying to insinuate that Gunna took a weak or a fake plea deal. Just in Thug's eyes, of course, right? So wait, before you continue. Absolutely. From what you're saying, mm-hmm. you believe that that tweet is saying that Thug is almost at odds with he was, he was being shady to Gunna. Being shady to Gunna. And about, I think he, he even though be... he requested to work with Gunna. So glad you brought that up. Wait, he's he couldn't be, he's not being shady to other people who snitched, quote unquote? He, I think that applies as well. And that's okay. a great point, Reggie. Absolutely, for sure, for sure. We just don't know the others the way we know Gunna. And to the point about what he requested in court, this is just Alex. I could be wrong. Y'all called me. Y'all said I was reaching before, and then we, we've debunked things you in the future. Right. I, I, you I, be I, right as shit. I hate being that nigga. I don't I, like you being uh, that. I don't like you being that brother. Uh, <laughs> I just like reading the writing on the wall. Uh, okay. okay. And for that, Savon, I think it was more so he doesn't want to get jammed up if he has to run into Gunner. Like you said, he's still a YSL artist. Mm-hmm. He still produces music under that label, for uh, sure. at, at least for now, at the time of this recording that I know of. So I think that was just a way for him to not get jammed up with having communication with Gunner. I'll take it a step further. Next tweet, Wham. Who's Wham? That's Lil Baby's nickname, y'all. Hmm. Wham, Wham, Wham. Bitch, I'm Lil Baby. He goes, <laughs> Wham, let's drop one on these rats. Peter? Now say Vaughn. Oh. I, <laughs> Wait, that seems really clear. Yo, Sorry, guys. Yo, bro, where you been all my life, bro? Yeah. What the fuck? Wait, okay, like, you know what's like, so, this, why I feel really stupid right now? Because I saw these tweets. I know. But the fact that Alex is reading them to me like I'm five right now, <laughs> yo, now yo, I finally yo, get it. Yo, you the like, street whisperer, bro. Don't do that, don't do that. But yo. all he did was just read it to us. <laughs> but why you ain't yo. tell me this in the group chat, bro? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Uh, and me and Sarah are like, oh. Uh, Oh, that what makes sense. Doing, like, well, yo, you know what it is like. Yo, it, it's like man. back in the day when when, when, when Fifty was called like Boo Boo. Yeah, 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 I didn't know. Like yeah. you had to know who Boo Boo was to know who Boo Boo was. You I'm had like, oh, to. Shit. Wait, he said, so Wham is Wham. Wham is Wham. Wham. Yo, wham, we gonna wham. drop shit on the on the little <laughs> facts. Let's excited. drop one on these rats. Mind you, oh. and Wham <laughs> has been the one. Stop. That has been throwing shots at Gunner. I he feel, God, I, it's okay. And Make fun of me in the comments. I was stupid. No, you're fine. And let's dress it up some more. Oh, We've yeah. seen clips of him with Ti <laughs> since he got out, right? Okay. Shout out to Tip. T- Why Paris. the hell, Clifford? Clifford, that's my boy Cliff. Shout out to Cliff. Big man. Cliff. <sighs> Big Cliff. Don't fuck around. You ready? Why we ain't seen clips of him and Gunner if he just requested to make music with him? Because sometimes your best friends, like it's like mm. your favorite side piece. Mm. You don't never pop out with the favor. Nah, I'm chilling. <laughs> <laughs> no, because uh, I'm getting back from all this pod, bro. I was just making like an assistant. <laughs> it was just an example. <laughs> Stop the ball. It's just. <laughs> Stop the ball. Stop the ball right there. Stop the ball. I'm crying. But I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. And there's a song going here. Remember, remember that album he put out when he first uh, got locked? Mm-hmm. And it featured Drake. And there was a, I think it was Jonesboro, Jonesboro. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, on the song, Drake starts off 
And then midway through it is a collect call from Gun I mean from Thug. Mm -hmm. And on the call, he's saying, We're pushing more Peter than any pusher Pete. Like, like the Shade, same, Shade and Gunner. Shade and Gunner, the same Peter. The same mm -hmm. verbiage and lingo that he just used on his tweets. Peter was in the Bible. Peter was so in the maybe Bible. So maybe, because you know, Hold the on. acronym that his lawyer came up with, Pushing P, was Pushing Positivity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Truly Humble mm -hmm. Under God. Yeah, young Thug stands for Truly Humble, humble under, under God. God. Shout out to Brian so, Steele. we just never know where these names derive from. As we all know, Drake comes from, you know, just yeah. got to, what was it? Kill right and do everything? Kill right and do everything. Do, like, you just got to do right, kill everything. Whatever it was, like, yeah. these acronyms come forever. I Wait. don't know. Right. Do what? right and kill everything. Do right. I'm kill, gonna... kill, kill, kill right, right and do, do everything. Right. That shit sounded you know, good. That's though. A, that shit smelled crake. Nah. Wait, no, kill cra right and do everything. I don't know. K dot. My fault. I fucked up. <laughs> don't do that. I put the K first. Don't but do I'm just saying, do right and kill, kill right. everything. Like, kill right. all of these names <laughs> yeah. may be acronyms for anything. So, I do want to give. Young Thug, I do want to give Gun out. I do want to give Push and P, mm. you know, the 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 benefit of the doubt mm -hmm. of maybe meaning something else. Yeah, hey, maybe and, they're frenzies. And we'll leave the door open for that. If, if, hey, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, y'all. I'm gonna come yeah. in and say I was wrong. Because if you snitch on me, mm -hmm. I never. For, no, for me to get out, I would never. I'm gonna be your bestie. You gonna cooperate that's on my, my behalf? best friend? That's my best friend. <laughs> if, if Alex, no, if Alex snitched on you, say I feel like you wouldn't be friends with him when you got out. No, I don't. No, you, you know wouldn't. what? It, you know what it is. You gotta you, link up with somebody who you don't think would snitch on you. 